Welcome back to Smoky Ribs. I'm Russ Jones, and I got my good friend Keith Jenkins with me again today. Oh, yeah. We've done a few videos just recently, but we used to do a lot of videos together, and a lot of you will know who he is already. But well, today, Keith has got a treat for you. He's going to show you three of the recipes that he does on his Knee Deep Food Trailer Catering Trailer. And I'm just going to turn it over to Keith. I might ask a few questions as we go along, but he's going to do all three of these back to back. So we're going to get started right now. All right, we're going to show you a couple of items that we do on our food trailer. We just don't do just seafood. We do a little bit of everything. We try to twist things up. Right now, we're going to make a, this all-American bacon cheeseburger. So we'll show you what we're going to use and plus our seasonings that you can alternate with different flavors. So we're going to do a a blackened burger with our blackened season. While we got the bacon going on, we got some ribeye burgers here, and we're going to do four burgers. Two of them, I'm, I'm craving a good black. I, I got a blackened season. So now this is we have our season is now, but it's called the Gris Gris. That Louisiana black and magic right there. That's going to put a good flavor. And so we're going to go ahead and put that on the bottom. And get that going right there. Get another one going. So you can cook those to your preferred taste. Medium rare, well, whatever you want. Then the other one, I'm gonna go ahead and do an all purpose. And it's the Fado dough. Put that on there. It's like, a, it's just a basically all purpose seasoning. If you want lower in salt, we do have one that is in low salt. Oh yeah. And the fourth July is coming up in a couple weeks. You can have that ready to go. As last time you know, on our last video we did together, me and Russ, we had our seafood boil. That was our first product out. Uh, it has won four first place uh, winnings between Texas and Louisiana, which I'm gonna go ahead and show you here. And this is from ours from People's Choice and first place judges. The flavor people loved it. And uh, that was some crawfish and roses in Abita Springs, Louisiana. Um, in Pasadena, a good friend of ours uh, won first place in $5,000 over there at the Cajun Throwdown. Another guy was in Houston, won grand champion with our seafood ball. And a guy in Tickfall, Louisiana took first place with it. So four in three weeks, one couldn't be no happier than that, you know. So uh, of that, you know, we have that, and now we have our four seasons. I'm very pleased of those of being out on the market. Now. I can't wait, oh, wait yeah. to taste them, man. Oh, yeah. So you have the all-purpose. You have a low salt for that. Then we have the um, the blackened seasoning and the Cajun barbecue rub. And basically, what the uh, barbecue rub is going to be is a sweet mesquite barbecue rub with a seafood blend in it. It's like a 3-1 ratio. So you get that sweetness with that little fire. Ooh, yeah. Just perfect. And there's so much stuff you can do with that. The barbecue is all you grilling you can think of, but try it on french fries, and we're gonna do something in a little while, grill pineapple, grill watermelon, put it on um, popcorn, and another thing, in the morning, when you go to the donut shop, bring your can of that and put it on a hot glazed donut. Really? Yes, people like, because usually we do in barbecue cook-offs, you go up early in the morning, guys are bringing donuts around, yeah. so we do it one day, just sprinkle it on there, and just try it, and okay. it has been a big hit ever since then. All right, one thing about Needy Blends, you know, we got that seasoning, that Cajun crack. So here you go. Push some powder and cracked out. Cracked out some uh, them bald crabs. <laughs> so that's what we're talking about. So uh, I'm the Cajun uh, dope dealer. Seasoning that is. <laughs> that ain't Get Bud them. Light, is it? No, I don't think so, partner. <laughs> not, not in this cup here. <laughs> All right, plus our blackened seasoning. That's not just burgers. You got shrimp, chicken, steak, uh, you name it. You put that blackened seasoning right on that. Tuna, the kind of fish, catfish, and that's the gris gris. So, all right, we're gonna saute these onions down. And I got some bell peppers coming up too. So get that on that bacon grease. 
Yeah, with that blackened seasoning. Oh, yeah. Man, that, that almost yeah, like yeah. a good oh, yeah. name, blackened, blackened cheeseburger. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, picking up that bacon grease. Oh yeah, that's the number of flavor. And you know, back then, you know, grandma always had a little mason jar. Take you out to do your bacon, put it in there and save it. Oh, it's yeah. always sat on the stove. I still do that. Oh yeah. All right. Now we're gonna saute some, uh, some green bell pepper. You can do the Trinity colored, yellow, red, if you want, wherever you prefer. Put that in that bacon grease there too, get that flavor. All right, these are looking done to me. Well, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, these are these are plenty done. Guys, if you're looking for a good instant read thermometer, I use one on just about every cook. Look at Thermapro. I'll have a link in the description. They not only have the instant reads, they have wired thermometers, wireless thermometers, any kind of cooking thermometer you can think of. Check out the link below for exclusive discounts. Ooh, that's smelling good, Keith. Mm -hmm. Mm. Now we're gonna go ahead and do um, some uh, blackened chicken. So you cut your little strips up. I use chicken thighs. I prefer chicken thighs because of the flavor. A little bit of chicken, so we get some chicken thighs. Gonna put those down. So you get the, you can get them deboned already. Get ready to put on there. And we're gonna cook these all the way through. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put that uh, black and gris gris on it. Get that blackened chicken. Mm, boy, that's smelling good. Oh yeah. So you can just do to your taste profile how much you want on it. And yeah. So we're gonna put that voodoo stuff on that right there. Turn these things around. Now blackened is it's high heat. We're gonna high up the heat a little more to get that sear on that. All right, now, and for our chicken thighs, go ahead and turn over. Get that cheese there. For this one, for the tropical chicken sandwich, we'll use the Buku Cajun barbecue rub. We'll start sprinkling some of that on there. I like a lot, you put a good bit of snack on it. It's got a very good sweet mesquite taste to it. Get that there, and get that going. All right, now we've got some fresh Gulf shrimp, Louisiana Gulf shrimp, now butterflies. So we're gonna need these gonna be the blackened shrimp for our blackened uh, shrimp tacos. So we're gonna go ahead and just put those on. Ain't gonna take long, drop those out. So we peeled these first thing this morning when I got here. So we're gonna go ahead and just sprinkle some of that on because you want a good sear on that and high heat. And plus, you know, when we do our tacos, We'll keep it a simple taco. It's gonna be tortilla, we do a flour tortilla. Yeah. Shrimp, white onion, fresh cilantro, fresh lime. That is it. If you wanna put your salsa, whatever you want, sure. you can do that. All that right. But that's what we're gonna do, is keep it simple. And usually the 1620s are a little bit smaller so that you don't, you don't have to butterfly them. I, I just butterfly these up to get more on the taco. Right. Let's go ahead and put some of that blacking on there, get that char on there. The music that you hear in the background is actually my cousin, Chris Lee. Go to Chris Lee Music from Massville, Louisiana. He's in Nashville. He's a songwriter, writes his own song, so he's coming out with these blues type uh, music. Local boy from Louisiana. Grilled pineapple. Put that grill on there. We're gonna put the buku. Put that barbecue on that. We'll do it for about a minute, minute and a half on each side. Oh, talking about some good, yeah. That's your barbecue rub that's, there. Yes, okay. the barbecue rub. Yep. And plus another good thing. Watermelon, watermelon, huh? That barbecue rub. A lot of people put salt on watermelon. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, and the same thing is that buku. Barbecue rub. Barbecue. I would have never thought that. Yep. Yeah. And I mean, people that we cook for, we give out samples and they just, what is that? You know, just want to know, just a barbecue rub. Never thought 
but not just any barbecue rub is going to work on this though. Huh. Gotta have that buku on. All right, now let's go ahead and put this uh, all-American uh, cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger together. So, uh, got our buns. Got some of uh, that Louisiana uh, blue plate. Let's spread that on there, yeah. Everybody getting a little hungry now. <laughs> so now we have our all-purpose, and we got the blackened seasoning, some lettuce. Homegrown Louisiana tomatoes. We got some stackable pickles. This good old American cheeseburger. Some good old little mustard. Some ketchup. And of course, you can put whatever you like. Yes, on yes, yes. Burger, so. Put that uh, cheese on there. Oh man! Look at that there. Put that cheese, and guess what's going to make it happen? Is that bacon? A couple pieces of the bacon on there. All right. All right. Yes, sir. There we go. Put that bun back on there. And there goes your American needy cheeseburger. Get that right there. They said, ooh, lunchtime. All right. Go ahead. Russ, get you one there. Oh, man. This is good old American cheeseburger. Heck yeah. Cheers to us as always. Mm. I taste that blackened season, yeah. That's a good burger. Yes, that is. That season, mm. that blackened burger. Now we got the uh, chicken thighs there with the Buku barbecue rub. And this is a barbecue sauce that we're working on. So we're gonna put that on. You can use any kind of barbecue sauce you want. We're gonna go ahead and just pour that on there. Some of them, them onions. Oh like yeah, onions. A couple of little bell peppers on it. Get that boy. Look at that. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Like Grandma used to say, "Shut the front door." <laughs> That's some good, yeah. Hey, All I'm right. Still this little straggler here. All right. Then go ahead and top it with that grilled pineapple. Ooh. With the buku there, and we're gonna go ahead and put some. I love cheese. Russ likes cheese too. So we'll go ahead and put that pepper jack cheese on it. Got that pepper jack cheese right there. And there we go, to the bun. You killing me, man. All right, Russ, let's go for it, man. Tell you what, let's take a knife. Uh -huh. Get out of here, I'll share, I'll share one with you. Well. Go ahead. Yeah, that pineapple will go up. There we go. All right. All right, let's go. That tropical burger right there. Mm -hmm. Bell pepper, onion. Pineapple, barbecue sauce, barbecue rub. Mm. Mm. That barbecue sauce is a sweet. Oh man. With a little Cajun kick in it that we're working on. So this uh you can watch on our website or our Facebook page, Need Eat Blends, and we'll sh let you know when that's uh and ready to come. Because we are doing a uh, hot sauce, a taco sauce, barbecue, and a pineapple hot sauce called the Tropical Storm. The barbecue they're gonna call Rougarou Barbecue. That's what's coming. Man, the flavor stuff and the onions, the bell pepper. Man, that pineapple mm -hmm. with those peppers, mm -hmm. incredible. Holy smokes. And chicken thighs, it's I like. It's like a sweet and sour. That's what it is, yeah, yep. I love the chicken thighs compared to a chicken breast. Um, Go to a locator. So we're trying to, get, trying to get out there and it might be in a store near you. If not, contact us, we'll get one somewhere. All right. They can. Order it online too, Could, right? Yeah, you can order online, yes. Uh, right now, all the season is already right now. We're working on the sauce part. Cool. So we'll let you know definitely when the sauce part will be ready. All right. Now, another good thing here for the fourth July coming up here, real quick and easy. Flour tortillas. Put some of uh, that blackened shrimp. This one here, you're going to use some white onion. White onion there. And then we're gonna have some um, fresh cilantro. Uh, you can't do uh, fresh stuff, it's just awesome. Then we'll go ahead and 
a lime, fresh squeezed lime all over that. There we go. Get that flavor into that shrimp like that too. Got my mouth water. <laughs> Then again, you can put your any kind of salsa, verde sauce, or whatever you want there. Well, I'm just going to go just a basically a, just a street shrimp taco with our blackened season. There you go, there. And man, the fresh stuff, the fresh cilantro and the onion, the white onion, and that's not salted down. That's just regular fresh cut. So yeah, take that baby there. Now, that blackened season and that shrimp, when they get seared, taste that flavor, that fresh cilantro, then that lime, mm -hmm. when they're getting right on it, though. Boy, that taco's spot on. <laughs> so, and that's what we do in our food truck. So, you can go to Need Eat Seafood, see where we're at, or if you can hire us, your company, or whatever, uh, gathering 50 plus more. Um, we travel anywhere in the United States. So, check that out. So, uh, other than that, then, go to our website. Well, I hope y'all have enjoyed this video. Hope you give some of this a try for your 4th of July. I'd recommend all three of them. And it's always a pleasure doing a video with Keith, having him over here out of yeah. Madisonville, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Be sure to check out his website. I'll have links in the description if you want any of these products that you've just seen. He's He's got more coming, so yes. you might want to frequent that website from time to time. Oh, yes. All right. All right, later. Aye. Aye.